Hey guys, and welcome to another tutorial from Photoshop is Fun. Now in the past, I've done vignette tutorials for you and kind of showed you how to do this type of work, but what I want to do today is cover the technique that I've been using the most lately in my own work because it's really simple and it works with most um, photographs. But before I do that, I want to share with you some things that are happening in my world. Um, specifically, PhotoshopIsFun.com has launched, so check out the site and what you'll get there is not only the um, standard uh, Photoshop stuff that we do here on the channel, but also things like gear reviews, the gear that I use, um, as well as photography tips, tricks, and techniques. I'm going to cover everything so that we can marry these two disciplines and get the most out of our creative work. And then lastly is the Photoshop is Fun Facebook site. And this is where um, I'll be sharing kind of the day-to-day -day happenings of the Photoshop is Fun um, kind of world and where you can kind of keep up with what's going on and learn about um, the new things that come online um, that I'm putting out. So please check out both of those things. I'll put links in the description below. And um, with that, let's go ahead and jump straight into the vignette tutorial. Okay, so this technique, I believe, has been around since um, CS5. And to pull it off, you basically just go up to the filter menu and down to lens correction. And then within lens correction, you'll see that there's a tab over here called custom. So you just click on the custom tab and then go about halfway down and you'll see the vignette section. And if you go to the uh, left, if you take your slider and move it to the left, you'll get the um, darkened vignette. And if you move it to the right, you'll get the white vignette. So you can see as I go left, it does the darkened. And then as I go right, I get the, um, the, the white. So I'm going to go ahead and go all the way left. And then right below that is a slider called the midpoint slider. And that just shows you or gives you um, additional vignetting down to your center point in the photograph. So as I go all the way to the left, I get the extreme. And if I go all the way to the right, it pushes everything out to the, um, to the corners and the edges. That's essentially all you do. What I do on my work is I just create an action script that sets my um, uh, dark vignette all the way over at negative 100 and then um, right around the um, 35 to 40 mark for my midpoint. Click OK and there you go. The perfect um, quick and easy vignette. 